What's up guys, my name is Jimmy. I'm a digital marketer from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I wanted to make a video to kind of simplify on-page SEO so that anyone can kind of really do it at home. Um, one of the main things that you're gonna wanna do is really understand keyword research. So there's a few ways to do that. Uh, one of the tools that I personally use a lot is something called Keywords Everywhere. You can see it here. Uh, and you can download it here and, and it just installs as a plugin. But basically, um, after you install in Chrome or Firefox, you know, whenever you do a query of any sort, uh, it will actually show uh, all the keywords that are that are here. And if you actually search it, uh, it'll show you in the dropdown uh, what the search volumes are for different variations. Uh, so this is important because you do want to know what is a keyword that's being used the most, uh, and you know, related keywords, um, what people may be searching for. Uh, uh, synonyms or uh, latent semantic indexing LSIs, uh, what we call in the SEO community. Uh, it's just a really good tool that can give you some initial insight on um, how often something is being searched. So, um, you know, let's take this example, Jim Los Angeles. So um, I'll target this keyword and I see that it gets about 350 searches a month. Um, and related keywords um, are things like Equinox, Gold Gym Los Angeles, Equinox Los Angeles membership rates. So uh, basically, this tells us that uh, when people are searching for Jim Los Angeles, uh, what uh, what's being searched a lot is going to be things like Equinox or Gold's Gym. So there's definitely branded uh, keywords that are related with this. So uh, this is really good to know. Now, uh, along with this keyword, so uh, I am getting that it's searched 350 times a month. Um, that's not bad. Uh, but when I take a look to see what else is going on, I'm going to see that there's two ads here. So um, the ads are really important when you're doing on-page SEO just because they've done a lot of testing. Uh, so Google's intent is that people are going to click on this. So they actually really work with you on optimizing your um, AdWords campaigns. So it's just a really good way to see um, what have they tested or what are value propositions that are important to them. And so uh, with Planet Fitness, you can see $10 a month is a big value proposition. So uh, they're kind of targeting price point uh, and they're saying clean, hassle free and friendly. So uh, I think, you know, these are either values that are important to people that are going to go, that are going to Planet Fitness or, uh, you know, maybe some people consider a gym that's 10 bucks a month is going to be dirty. It's going to be difficult and the people there are not going to be very nice. Um, now, Equinox is on the other end, so uh, it's kind of a nice contrast. Uh, so it's a luxury fitness club, so uh, they use the languaging of luxury, fitness, and club, uh, not your ordinary gym. So, uh, you know, you can tell from, from this, like, you know, this is a, a cheap gym and this is more of a luxury gym, um, and they're kind of positioning themselves accordingly. Um, when you get to the Google Maps, um, this, you know, this is really important. Um, that's because you can see uh, where is your competition. Uh, ranking in the map pack is going to be very much uh, location driven, but you can see none of these guys actually use the keyword gym Los Angeles. So, um, you know, one of the things that we can quickly take a look at is how many people are using gym Los Angeles. Uh, and you can see none of them really are. Uh, so this is really interesting because this tells me that a lot of the local SEO um, hasn't really been set yet. And so uh, this could be also a good way to start identifying um, who are some people that you may want to begin um, either targeting or if you're a marketer working with these companies and say, hey, look, there are some basic things that we can do to help you uh, get some more visibility uh, for people that are searching for things that are related to your service. Um, so looking here, uh, top 10 gyms in Los Angeles LA Weekly. Okay, so they use the keyword gyms in Los Angeles here. Um, and another uh, clue to look for is, um, what are some of the keywords that are showing up in this description? This is called the meta description. And you can see that they bolded boxing, they bolded 24-hour fitness, uh, they bolded Equinox. And so you can uh, already get that uh, in gym Los Angeles, the related keywords are boxing, 24-hour fitness, Equinox, um, what else I'm seeing? Gyms, Los Angeles, uh, gym, gym, gym. So uh, gym is a related keyword. Um, fitness, gyms, Los Angeles. So uh, the, what's the point? The point is, is that, you know, you can really begin to see what are the collection of keywords that Google is really assigning to this keyword phrase, gym, Los Angeles. 
And so it gives you a good idea of, okay, uh, these are the keywords I should be using, or these are the keywords I should be mentioning. Um, so, you know, throughout the page, right, you, you can begin to see trends of like, okay, they use the keyword gyms, Los Angeles in the title here, gyms, Los Angeles in the title here, gyms, Los Angeles. Uh, these guys are using the, the word best, best. Uh, these guys are using the keyword top. Um, LA's best chain gyms for every budget. So um, you can get, begin to see like, you know, just from a on-page SEO perspective, there's going to be some basic places that you're going to want to include the keyword. Um, the last thing that I'll take a look is like, let's just say, um, you know, we open this guy up. Okay, so fit.co looks to be a gym. Um, all the best sweat spots in Los Angeles. Okay, so uh, this looks to be a content piece and it's a roundup. Uh, but, you know, in this, you can see that they've uh, updated their URL to include the keyword Los Angeles. And then you can also see the keyword gyms, fitness, studios, Los Angeles. So uh, just to recap places that you're going to want to take a look at, um, you're going to want to see, you know, what are they doing in their title? You want to see what are they doing in their meta description? Um, what are they doing in the URL? Um, last place that you really do want to take a look at uh, to see, you know, where are they optimizing? Um, if you're going to do some very, you know, low level uh, basic SEO optimization uh, for on page, which is sometimes, you know, all you may need, um, you're going to want to take a look at a header one h1 tag so in this instance you know they're targeting explore los angeles um, let's see what other h1 tags they are um, best west spots in los angeles so um, if i were to make a recommendation to these people um, i would probably say add the keyword gym uh, in their header one uh, so some basic places that they're gonna you know pull information they being google uh, it will be their title um, so you know you can you can actually just literally do what i did you can right click, hit view page source, and it'll take you to the actual code uh, that's written uh, for the page. And you can just look up things like title. Um, and so you'll see, um, let's actually go up to the first one. Uh, so the title, the title of the page, uh, 20 best sweat spots in Los Angeles. Uh, so it'll be typically something like OG title, uh, and it'll reflect what you see in Google. Um, the meta description. So, uh, you know, in this case, it's OG description. You could say meta description, uh, and it'll offer uh, what's the meta description that they wrote, um, and then things like the H1 tag um, is a third place to take a look, uh, and then lastly, the URL. So this is like a very like basic uh, SEO on-page SEO training for you, but it's really designed so that, you know, if you don't really have the budget or if you're just looking to kind of just create something on your own, um, SEO isn't hard, uh, especially on-page SEO. So, uh, you know, some, some suggestions would be, uh, yeah, get keywords everywhere. You can also get a Google Keyword Planner um, and, even though it's paid, you can literally start your first campaign, put in a dollar, and it'll give you access to the keyword planner. So that's another free tool that you can use to take a look at, uh, you know, how often is someone doing search. And then uh, just take a look at the actual, um, you know, websites that are ranking for that keyword and begin to kind of uh, take a look at, well, you know, who is bidding on them, what keywords are they using, uh, just so that you have an idea of like how to create a title that is maybe compelling or will capture the eye. Uh, but also when you start to take a look at, uh, you know, what are the other competitors doing, you'll start to see, you know, their usage of keywords will give you good insight on how you may want to structure your on-page SEO as well. Um, and really at the end of the day, you just want to um, put your keywords in the right places. And then over time, you know, if you have great content or if your content is being um, accessed, whether uh, people from YouTube are coming onto the site or you're getting Facebook traffic onto the site, um, it will begin to rank. It may not rank on page one, but you know, you'll at least have what you need set up to get yourself positioned to win. Uh, so that's it. Enjoy guys. Thanks.